Hello. And welcome back. Are you gonna shoot again, Tommy? To The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. You wanna give it a whirl? Last time we left off, we were here with Tommy and Ellie, and they were going up this trail right after uh right after we met up with Jesse. And uh, we found out that Jesse was the one that's been running around and they were calling him that one guy on the radio. They were like, oh, it's a, a trespasser, a male trespasser. And they thought it was Tommy, but it wasn't. It was Jesse. What we found out in the last episode. Jesse doesn't know Dina's pregnant yet. They, um, Ellie just told him that she's sick. And yeah, and now we are here after a long ass day of killing. Last episode was brutal. I was so upset the whole time in those, that interaction. The last, like, 20 minutes of that video, I was raging <laughs> the fuck out of that shit. But it's fine. We're back. Everything's going to be fine this time around, right? Tommy, we're going to have, like, a nice little adventure. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be great. The last episode, and the, the beginning of the last episode was great on that little adventure sure? with Joel. But everything I'm else kind of generous. fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling generous. Sorry for interrupting you there, Tom. See that sign there? Red one? Try hitting that. Good way to draw them out of wherever they're hiding. The one all the way over here? This one. Got to aim higher. Yeah. Leave the bullet. Okay. Room I see. Yeah, my bad. I think you have to like right. Here. Okay, now it's too high. There you go. Now, I just let them stand still and then fire some more. Got one. There you go. Fuck. Couple of stragglers. Honestly, I feel like it'd be easier to shoot at them like this. Well, that's a lie. Got another one. Gotcha. I like this thing. Two left. Ah, oh, fuck. There you go. You son of a bitch. That's all of them. Nice. Use them more over this way if you want to keep shooting. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, this is probably the most effective from? kind of target practice. Fords like to move through this area in winter. They always end up leaving behind a few stragglers. They do the same routes every year. Like a migration or something. Huh. That's weird. What's that about? Well, when the barometric pressure reaches a certain temperature, st shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Check That's out the shed. Shit, I don't like fucking know. Downhill. Why? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, dead animal. Look up by the truck there. They're munching on that deer there. Guess they're hungry. Oh, yeah, huh? You're a natural. Thank you. I try. If only I was this good in Apex. Okay, and then I miss a shot. Uh, <laughs> nice. What you think? Beautiful. Spotting two still. Nice. You're really getting it. Yes. Where's the last fucker? I don't see anybody else. Can you ping him, Tom? <laughs> ping him, Tommy. I need a ping, bro. Where's the ping? Where's the ping at? Um, I don't see this guy. Where is he? Tommy? <laughs> oh. Yeah, where's he at? Oh, thank you. Thanks. Oh, he's back here. He's like hiding behind the fucking tree. Looks clear. Bet there's some this way. Thank you. That's something by the ski lifts? Look way out there. Under those gondolas. Way out there? By that tower. You see it? Under those gondolas. Oh, I see him. Those ones are far. I might have to, like, maybe line them up with the bottom line here. Oh, yeah, way bottom line. No rush. You'll find it. I love how they're not running around or anything. Like, you throw a bottle, they start freaking out. But oh, they hear gunfire, they're fine. Yeah, I don't know how to line this one up, gentlemen. Or ladies, I guess. Ooh, well, that was nice. 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 I'm, I'm a fucking natural. A couple more out there. I thought he was gonna keep fucking moving. He didn't Try fucking again. move. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Man, Wait. I hope Joel's been stirring he, too. 
he died. Probably okay. just left it to burn on the bottom. He's good at killing shit, but he ain't good at cooking. He used to do that with everything. Oatmeal, <laughs> soup, eggs. He's, he's good at killing shit, but he's not good at cooking. <laughs> I'm not seeing any more. Nice. Yeah, me Can neither. I keep this? All right. You know, I'm going to need it in my Let's future endeavors. You. See if Joel's back. Sure. Bro, Ellie took off, like, her fucking, her little monster from her bag. And her over. Man, I like this one. Thanks for that. It's just what I needed. Sure. Ladies first. Oh, what a gentleman. That's why we love you, Tommy. I'm not supposed to say anything. About what? Worried about you. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure there isn't. But if you don't talk to him... He's gonna think something's wrong. I talked yeah. to him. Well, you have to do more than hi and bye. <laughs> okay. Hi and bye. At ease, fella. Yep. Good shit, horses. Is this the... Is this the lodge that... No, that it's not, is it? There, right? Oh, just some stragglers. <laughs> Ellie got to try out my scope. My scope. How'd you like it? Yeah, feels good. Oh. I see you've, uh... <laughs> you haven't gotten around to changing the string yet. I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you, you, uh... Oh, God. We'll get you this is so ones. awkward. Ugh. <clears throat> There's that music store down there. I bet they got guitar stuff. Yeah, probably. I mean, that area's long overdue for a sweep anyway. Bro, the facial cap. This, I, I know watching. I keep saying it, bro, but I, I like, and I'm like a broken That's record it, and I sound like Jack Sept guy. I swear I'm not doing it on purpose, sure. but like, I swear, the more I play this fucking game, the more I just see how fucking. <laughs> and <that's our> <laughs> fucking Tommy, bro. Such a dickhead. It is gorgeous, man. This game is fucking beautiful. Are you sure you don't want to come? Yeah, come on, Tom. Get on now. He's waiting. All right, so I'll stay here in the fucking awkward okay. struggle that is fatherhood and daughterhood. Right. On me, kiddo. Let's go. So, you and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Fucking Tommy. Uh, you know. Found two runners in a house. Jesse tells me you're handling your own quite well on the group patrols. He's even she is. You for paired patrols. Damn. I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than most of the new recruits who... you think you're ready. I trust you. Okay. Oh. Thanks. You just do me a favor and take the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. Hey, you remember those uh, Savage Starlight comic books that you're into? Yeah. <laughs> Tommy and I found some when we were moving through that school the other day. Did you like them? Oh, well, you know what? Not really my cup of tea, but Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty. She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match. Ooh. Yeah, I mean he definitely deserved it, but that was a nice twist how they escaped. Though. <laughs> You're funny, bro. I want to know more about that, yeah, man. Give us. Have to move the horses here. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want a Naughty Dog superhero game so bad. Come on, Naughty Dog. Give us a Savage Starlight fucking superhero store. game. Yeah, I see it. I'm a sucker for superhero games, man. I just am. I always will be. You need a boost? I got it. Nah, I got it. <laughs> I ain't so little anymore, Joe. Uh, I don't think we can go this way. What? <gasps> I like his concern. Damn. What? Used to be able to swim across this. Okay, so now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting through that hotel. I'm up for it. Let's go. 
Let's go, Joel. We got this shit. Ellie and Joel, just like old times. Too much flashbacks for me, man. Like, <laughs> this sucks. It's like one of those shitty Naruto episodes. Well, not in the fact that, like, it's bad. It's just, it sucks because I'm upset. Oh, that might you be know something. what I mean? Like, I'm emotional. You think you can fit in there? Well, it's worth in a here? <laughs> Careful now. Yep. It's so fucking awkward Come between through. these two, man. Hold on. All right. What do we? Oh, I'm just gonna go open the door, right? I got a bot. A batal. Nice. Well, hello. Hey. <laughs> you impressed? Hey. No. Nope. You're just too skinny. You need to eat more. <laughs> You're welcome. You're just too skinny. You need to eat more. Wait, what happens if I... Hey, Joel, look at this. Hey, hey Joel. <laughs> what am... You impressed now? Fuck you then! <laughs> Ellie, here. No, 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 no. I ain't helping you. Hold on. I got shit to find and shit to be. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> Give me all this shit. Uh, still got enough to make anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming. see a way through, but we got spores. Put your mask on. Ugh, do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. Man, it sucks that she's gotta hide her immunity. I do like that he waited for us though. Like he didn't just instantly push it away. He he like waited to like sign off that dialogue. You know what I mean? Like he was waiting for me to go do something. You start wearing that mask, kiddo, and eventually you're gonna slip up in front of someone you shouldn't. I've never slipped. You ain't told nobody, do have you? Not Jesse or Dina. Of course not. Dina That's just found good. out. Jesse doesn't know yet, but Dina just found out recently. Is that also something we found out in the last episode? Or was that the episode before? They're starting to blend in, man. Because with that flashback, that's a big thing I remember. And then... He just patrolled the streets. No, no, no. That was two episodes ago, right? I think that was episode five. Maybe. Give me that. Ooh, a wood plank. I'm gonna bash some heads with this shit. Okay, I already got that. Oh no, I do not. I do not. <laughs> I don't have it all the way reloaded. Okay, nice. Get this shit going. Okay. Where are we off to, Joel? Well, I know we're going through this hotel. So, ooh, I didn't check here. I don't think. Hold on, Joel. More treasures. <gasps> A note. Lord, my favorite kind of note. Let's see. Ruby, I'm sorry if our patrol overwhelmed you yesterday. We didn't. We don't run into new people too often. I understand why you might have been nervous to follow us to Jackson, but it really is a nice place. We got electricity, good crops. Could be something special for you and your family. My boys are different from people here. My boys are different people here. Before Jackson, we were so focused on just staying alive. I didn't like who they were becoming. They started acting like people were just running away from. Like the people we were... Okay. These days, they're on roofs, fixing holes, digging trenches, hard work. But they come home every night excited about building up this place. They've got community, a reason to be accountable. You used to be a teacher. You could have had a classroom of kids hungry for knowledge. This isn't a fantasy. People consider us just stopping by. Let me show you around. Not people, please, Tara. Girl, my dyslexia is going crazy lately, man. Uh... Let's see... I actually don't know if I have dyslexia, but I am pretty fucking sure. Looks like it was shot a while back. When did the last patrol yeah. go through here? I'm not sure. Is it one of us? Nah. Only people went missing from Jackson and them teenagers from last year. This one's too old. I would just roamed in. Oh, I remember that story about the teenagers. 
I, for I totally forgot about that. This way. Man, how did you see this? I usually don't look up in video games. That's something I've noticed. In video games, I'm usually always just like looking straight on. There's infected in there. Oh my god. Yeah. My favorite thing, killing clickers. Okay, we can take out this runner real quick, right? So if this is how this is gonna go, I'm happy to do it. I gotta be quiet with the clickers. God fucking damn it! Okay, Joel, this is bad. Okay, I got him. Down. On your right! Oh shit. Get the fuck off me! Help me, Joel! More infection! Get ready! Another one down. Is that ammo? Oh, it's a bottle. Oh, I missed. Nice. Ammo. Is that it? Sorry, Joel. I tried to be stealthy and then that fucker came behind me. You know what I mean? You saw. You saw what happened. I'm sorry. I let you down. I'm a bad daughter, okay? Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be fucking more. There's two fucking clickers, Joel. Oh, you need help? Oh, wait. This probably was a bad idea. Help. Run. Oh, my God. That was bad. Nice. Nice. There's so much ammo over here. Oh god. There's so many here. Fuck. Nice. Another fucking clicker? Fuck me. There's so many fucking lambs in this Go. area. I think we did it. Holy fucking shit. So, what do you say we give up on those strings for today? Could have said it better myself. <laughs> I think our only way out is forward now. Hold on, Joel. I gotta heal up real quick. If we run into more fuckers, I want to be healed. <laughs> okay. I don't think it might be something. I hope so. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> that was not... That was so sloppy. I feel like they... That was way easier than the last encounter I had in this game. The last, like, 20 minutes of the last episode. But, you know. Doesn't mean it wasn't pleasant. <laughs> it wasn't Pleasantville, USA, you know? Man, this is eerie. I don't like this. Oh shit. Oh god. I forgot that happens. He still chases the girl. Bro! 
burn. No. I don't have very much ammo left. There's fucking runners too. Really, Naughty Dog? Where is he? Joel, I can't see him because they're in the way. Oh god, he's chasing. He's not dying. He's not dying. He's he's invincible. He's he's insane. Holy shit. Wait, Joel! Have one of these! How is he still alive? Here. This is probably a bad idea. Please get away. Run. Run. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. How many more fucking shotgun bullets is that thing gonna take? How is it still alive? I'm dead. Oh, I needed to get hit by it. No wonder you were still alive. Oh my god, dude. Joel, you are such a badass. Jesus. It was too close. Sure. But we fucking did it. Yeah, we sure did. God damn it, man. Uh, you know, than being really old. <laughs> I know. not a sleep on shake off. I want to get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, let's get the fuck out, man. Oh, wait, I can read Ellie's old journal. I love doing this, like, seeing her old shit. That's, his, that's her girlfriend. I've just had the worst slash best day of my life. Cat was finishing another session on my arm. What are you doing? And then climbed on top of me and kissed me. I threw her off me. I yelled at her. I thought, she, I thought I infected her. I mean, I'm infected, sort of. I don't know how the fuck this shit transfers. What if she just turns? What do I tell people? She's got a family. She's got family. I told her we should take a walk. I lied and said I've never kissed anyone and that I was just nervous. She was actually sweet about my freak out. We spent the day walking and talking and then she came to my place for a movie. Back there, huh? She fell asleep. I stayed up all night watching her. Yeah. I wonder how long that fucker was down there. That's not what it says, but I was talking about what the dialogue said. I wonder how long that bloater was there, man, for it to turn that fucking... To that stage of infection, dog. <laughs> She fell asleep. I stayed up all night watching her look for some for signs of infection. The next morning she was fine. Nothing. I'm not contagious. And Cat likes me. What a fucking roller coaster. Cat's the fucking best. That is all. And then she drew that picture of her right here. <laughs> so on patrol today, Jesse told me Cat referred to me as her girlfriend. She was so open about everything. She talks to her mom about us. She held my hand when we were all out at the lake, kissed me in front of our friends. Everyone seems to know except for Joel. Should I tell him? I don't know how he'd react. Did she tell him? I want to know about that story. I feel like Dina's avoiding me. Kat says she's just jealous about how I'm spending my time. I keep trying to invite Dina along, but she keeps saying she's busy. Lying stone. Perched on an outcropping. You follow trace. You trace constellations in the sky. I trace the ink on your skin that covers the scars, the burns, decorating the darkness like stars. That's cool. Alrighty. Um, where's Joel at? Okay, this way. Oh my god, Joel, you fucked him up, man. Thank you so much. Apocalypse dad. <laughs> That's essentially what you are. You're my apocalypse dad. Uh, that's just, that just makes me miss you more, Joel. Hear about this. Let's deal with them two anyway. They're dating, right? Uh, They're dying. Coming off. Why? I hear the way Jesse talks. <laughs> no, Jesse and I are just friends. 
Yeah, you do. Not so keen with this one. Let's see. Ellie is lesbian, man. Like, don't hold your breath. You're way off. I do agree. You have a keen eye for shit like that, but you know, because apparently you just like instantly knew Dina and Jesse were dating. So maybe he is right. He's got a keen eye for that sort of thing. <laughs> But he did ask what, ooh, there's a bison. M. Bison. Man, I kind of want statues like this in my house. Like, I feel like they're kind of cool. You think you can squeeze through there? Yep. Because I'm skinny and I need to eat more. See what it is? I must say, those flashlights they carry around in their backpacks since the first game. Those are the greatest fucking flashlights in mankind. <laughs> Here they are. Ellie. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Man, that's the second time he saved your ass, Ellie. Hey, Joel. I think it's them. A couple that ran away last year. I think you're right. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. God now damn. We're getting, we've decided we're going to end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Love Adam and Sydney. I shot her. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. Adam. Fuck, man. <laughs> well, let's... Let's go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. Yeah. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital... You said there were dozens of people like me. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I could be hiding it. You do. Do you believe that? Yikes. Uh, there's a lot of tension. It's now really the time. And I don't like this. We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just uh, would have given them more time, they could have figured Ellie. something out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Oh, my God, man.
Ma. Joe, man, she knows you're fucking lying, man. Ugh. That story that they just told... Like... That's why these are my favorite games of all time. These two that they made, man. Like, what, be what a beautiful form of storytelling. God, bro. Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. Ellie's more jacked than I've ever been in my life. <laughs> He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell him? Yeah, why didn't you, Dina? wasn't the right time I guess that's true but like when is you're in the zombie apocalypse there you go like I don't think anything's anytime's gonna be the right time what about this anything worthwhile uh, actually yeah Abby uh, no this girl Nora her unit was assigned to this hospital they were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. What, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Like, at least just wait for Jesse to rest up. She could be gone by then. Ellie. True that. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. Very true. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? Poor favor. Yeah. Thank you. Love you. Kisses. <laughs> that car is kind of sick. You guys Wait. see that shit? If I follow Route 5... That should take me to the hospital. Follow so just down. Track down. So Nora. this way. Better to tell me where Abby is. Easy. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. It's not like we didn't just fight fifty people in the last fucking episode, and it wasn't as easy as you made it fucking sound. Here we go. Hold on. Secrets. No secrets. Ugh. Fucking Hercules over here. Ooh, there's some shit up there. How the fuck do I get up there? Ellie, shimmy on this pole. <laughs> I, I don't know how you get up there, honestly. Ooh. Climby climb. Yes. So... I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some to your guys' attention. I'm gonna like not ask a question because people don't comment my videos. <laughs> but I'm going to bring up something that I've read about before and I've seen all over the internet, and it's like it's a good argument, like it's a good talking point, I guess. So I watched this video for it was like a very brief amount of time, maybe like a minute or two. And it was basically like, people, there's a lot of people in the Last of Us community that have said that Joel was in the wrong. That what he did was very, like, it wasn't, uh, what's it called? Like, Joel in this game is a bad guy. And not that he deserved to die, but that his death isn't surprising. It isn't like, it kinda is meant to happen. It's It was supposed to happen. He made too many enemies. And what he did in the last game just basically sealed his fate. And because what he did was villainous and, like, terrible Good. and intent. You know what I mean? Like, he was a terrible person, is what people are saying. Hold on. 
Randy Styles. That sounds like a fucking wrestler. <laughs> he kind of looks like one too, like a retired one. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna read this and get back to what I was saying. So, real name Randall Styles. Brains 100, bronze 80. Once he was a doctor, once he was Dr. Uckman's research partner. Working late nights to develop all manners of technology for the better of, man of mankind. Until one day, he just vanished. Months later, reports surfaced of Styles showing up in numerous places all over the world. A brief appearance in Mexico, a short stint in Japan, a miratilization in Australian outback. With each visitation, he helps people in need and vanishes again. Some speculate Styles obtained this ability through an accident with Dr. Uckman's experimental quantum teleporter through vehemently denies the, those claims he whatever i don't you guys see what i said <laughs> and he's neutral he's not a bad guy or a good guy apparently but he's helping people in need so isn't he like a hero i don't know anyway people were saying that like a lot of people are on the side of that joel for because what a joel did they were totally justified to kill him like and what he did he had it coming because he basically took the keys away for humanity to even make a cure like even if it was just a chance he took that away from the world basically and i don't agree with these people i'm not saying that i agree with them i understand where they're coming from yes they had an opportunity to make a cure and to maybe like what's it called free humanity from this like Cure all the people that could have been infected, save all these people's lives, and then maybe the infection would die out. But also, there is like a chance, it's like... Th the thing is, what these doctors did... I said this in the last series. What these doctors did is not how science works. <laughs> like, what these doctors were like, oh, well, the only way to get to it is to get to her front or low, like, to get to her. So we have to, you know, cut off the brain and blood flow and see how this shit works they didn't check spinal fluid they didn't do any of that shit they just rushed straight into we need to get this girl dead so we can do more tests and it's just like i don't fucking know it just i don't think that's right and and from a form even if they could get a cure and they like the only way to do it was to kill her she couldn't make that decision because she was unconscious like who's to say that she would want to die for humanity you know what i mean even though Marlene and them were saying, oh, this is what she wants, this is what she would want. But you don't fucking know that. <laughs> like, she would have died for a chance. There's a chance they could have built a, a cure. And apparently there's been, like, rumors about this for years. So, Joel hearing that the only way to cure humanity and, the, you know, there, this, there's, there's this girl that is humane and, and you, that, <laughs> who's immune and he's seen it with his own eyes. Yes. That's the, like, one of the miracles of this story. But he has heard this time and time again that they could find a cure. You know? But their first way to do it, killing her, just... That's just not good science. Like, they have to run... They needed to run so many more tests than they did. They needed to go through so much more shit than they did. It's like, they kind of just were like, right away, we have to kill this girl. And I don't blame Joel for going in there and stopping them. <laughs> Like, look, the motherfucker lost a daughter already. And what he did, yes, I agree, was selfish. Nobody can deny that what he did was selfish. But at the end of the day, life is. Like, being being a father is selfish. He was being... He was doing what he thought he needed to do. Because he needed to save his daughter. Like, they went through a year of hell together. And he wasn't just about to let her die for a chance of there being a cure. Because she was immune. And like, I don't even understand what the fuck their plan was in the first place. You know? Just like... Okay, I don't think we need to be in here. I think I was just exploring. Huh. <laughs> anyway, through here? Um, I don't think so. Um, but... But to the people that do think that Joel is a monster and he basically like... Needed to die... Like, I don't think there's anybody that feels like Joel needed to die, but there's people that think that him dying is something that should have just happened regardless because he was a bad dude. But I don't think Joel was a bad guy. I think he was a dude in a bad situation that they put him in. 
and he decided to make a choice. Probably a hard one, but it was a choice nonetheless. Oh god. I keep fucking doing that. But yeah, that's my two cents on it. I don't think Joel is a monster. I think he's a father who made a choice. Another thing. Also, in medicine, most medicine times, it'll be like, they ask the parent of their child. Like, Ellie wasn't 18 yet. None of that shit. And I know that all that old world shit kind of goes out the window once you hit the zombie apocalypse. But even so, these scientists should have at least asked. Like, I get in Marlene's perspective. It's like, oh, well, Joel doesn't care about her. It was just a job for him. And he just dropped her off. You know what I mean? I need more ammo, so I have to go in here. God damn it. Okay. But... Even so, she could tell how upset he was. He was asking about her. He was saying, is she okay? Is she going to be okay? And all these things. Obviously, he cares more than just, like, a fucking job, Marlene. Like, you know what I mean? And usually, in that situation, it's, like, the parent's job to say yes or no for these certain things. And Joel wasn't ready to give up his daughter. You know what I mean? Even if it was his adopted daughter, he made a relationship with this girl. She saved his life. He saved hers. Like, just constantly. And it was just... I don't know, man. I feel like... I feel like if I was in Joel's position, I wouldn't have done anything differently. Because I would have did the exact same thing that he did. Not that I would have had as much talent as he did to get, like, all those fuckers dead. <laughs> That dude is a beast, or was a beast. And I don't mean to be like that, I apologize, but like, I just, I don't know, man, it's, I don't mean to make those, that's not a joke, I, I genuinely like, forgot he was dead for a second there, because we were just in, you know, we were just hanging out with him. Oh my god. I was telling a fucking story! <laughs> Let's see. Woods. Here's a list of deserters. Uh, there's a 5'4 Asian. Andre Dominguez, male. 5'7 Hispanic. Chris Marsh, male. 5'11 Caucasian. Adams Peters, male. 5'6 Black. So the tallest dude was white? Holy shit. We know some of the supplies they stole contained weapons. Be careful. While it's preferable to capture them alive, do not risk your lives. Any sign of danger, you may have permission to take them out. If they wanted to leave, we could have worked something out. But desertion combined with stealing cannot be tolerated. We need to make an example here. May, may your survival be long. May your death be swift. Good luck, Isaac. That's such a weird saying. <laughs> That's what the wolves say. You're going to learn that here soon. The wolves say that a lot. May your survival be long and your death be swift. Um, okay. But yeah, the only reason I came in here is because I fucking need ammo and shit, man. I, I need it. <laughs> I can't fucking go around like last time not having fucking shit. And the fact that I just wasted a lot of it kind of sucks. Kind of blows, to be honest. Okay, let's see. Listen to mode. Aim and stability. I fucking need that shit, man. Let's do that. We have more than enough to get something else. Move faster while aiming. Hell yes. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, I can already feel it on that. Oh my god. And look at how stable it is. Yeah, I, it's not really that stable, so I just don't need to, like, upgrade the guns. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like... Going back to the Joel thing, I feel like... He didn't do the right thing. Let's be honest with each other. He didn't do the right thing, but he did the thing that he felt he needed to do. Because obviously killing all those people, it's never going to be right. Like, at all. But I feel like I would I was on his side 100%. With, because he's right. Like, if he didn't kill those people, they would have come after him, tried to kill him. Basically, he was defending himself and his daughter. So... 
killing all those people isn't the right thing to do, but it's what he had to do, if that makes sense. Okay, let's see. We can go through here. But yeah, that's my two cents on it. The, there's a whole video. I don't remember who the guy's name is, but he does an analysis on The Last of Us, and he agrees with me. He says that what Joel did, Joel wasn't a monster. He was just a person in a fucked up world. And that's just how it is, man. He tried to be a decent man in an indecent time. <laughs> Shout out if you know what that's from. <laughs> well, it's we tried to be decent men, but you know what I mean. Same shit. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Well, there wasn't really fucking much in here. Well, those guys had... They, there has to be something else. There has to be like a safe or something. Because they were looking for those fuckers and they said that they had weapons and shit. So there's got to be like a safe or something in here. Okay, let's see. Kitchen, 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 kitchen. There's nothing in here. Nothing here either. Okay, whatever. I'm fucking leaving. All right. I mean, there was stuff in there, but just not good enough stuff. <laughs> Like, I made a whole molly and a neti, but that's it. And I have four bullets combined. Oh, is this the shit? No. Where the fuck is the shit? <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's like a wolf howling. Man, I'm really enjoying playing this game again. I love the gameplay in this game. I really do. The encounters sometimes are fucking finicky. Because, like, Jesus Christ, how many fucking enemies are you going to throw on the screen at once? You know what I mean? Like, I don't mean that in, like, a bad way. Like, that's bad design or anything. I just mean... Oh, fuck. I just mean Jesus fucking Christ, man. Like, why was there 50 enemies all at once over there? <laughs> in the last episode. Okay. We got a Jesse... Jesse's here. This is good. He can help protect Dina. It felt good having him around to deal with the WLF. Maybe he can help us find these people more quickly. I don't want to hear anything about turning back. She drew him pretty well, too. Ellie, you are talented as fuck, girl. Okay. We can go through here. Right? Unlocked? Denied. <sighs> Come on, man. How many people locked their doors during the fucking apocalypse? Well, actually... That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you just... Man, the way you fucking slid through that shit and didn't get any fucking cuts or anything, Ellie. You are a champ. There's a container here. Hold on. I'm looting and I'll read that note. Another drawer. Hey, scissor. There's so much shit I can make now. I can make another one of these. Fuck yeah. Three trip mines is crazy. Like, if I run into some jamblers, I'm chilling right now. Okay. Let's see. Darling. I got everything packed, but Fedra's already starting to put people on buses, and I have no idea where you've disappeared to. If I'm gone before you get back, I stashed a few of my things in the safe. Maybe it, maybe an overabundance of caution, but Fedra's been con confiscating things due to quarantine. All smells fishy to me. Combination is still set to our wedding date. I mean, it's been 30 years, but I assume you remember when that was, right? Love, Ellen. Yeah, I don't, I don't think homie made it out. So we got to find out their wedding date, which should be on a calendar somewhere from what I remember. A walk to remember. Okay. We got this. Star sign trading card. Is this another dude that's like old? Like because of the fucking shit he's doing? Affiliation. Okay. Zhang Li. Brains 80, Bronze 80, Society of Champions. The once a humble museum curator. Cooter? Curator. I don't know what that says. Zhang Li was poring over Han Dynasty scrolls when he found himself transformed by the spirits of the great Chinese emperors. Now, depending on the hour of the day, he takes on the elemental power from each sign from the Chinese zodiac. 
Terrakinesis, Terrakinesis, Pyrokinesis, Aquakinesis, Florokinesis, and Arborkinesis. <laughs> He also takes on both positive and negative personality traits of each sign, which can be an advantage or a disadvantage depending on the situation. Best hope you catch him at a good time of day. He is a neutral hero. That's kind of cool. Okay, there you go. I remember it was October. That's kind of weird that I remember it was in October. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Because all the shit happened in October. Of course, it's on the month of October. It's October 8th, so 10... 10 30 and then she said it was 30 years ago no no it's it's 10 08 or some shit like that i don't know i guess we'll find out because <laughs> i don't remember how many okay so 10 or maybe we have to stretch it out really far so we go like one like this 10 and then so zero zero and then i don't think that works actually yeah this uh, this doesn't work <laughs> hold on um i'm just gonna cheat real quick <laughs> Okay, so 83s. I, I didn't know what... I thought it might have been this. But I didn't know what 30 years past fucking 2013 was. <laughs> and I wasn't about to do the math in my head, so... I might have cheated a little bit, you know? It's fine, it's fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. I'm, I'm not a smart man. You guys know that. That's why I'm playing this game and, and just sitting back and enjoying. You know, and I'm cheating every chance that I get. This is the belongings you left her, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you left her a full bullet... A few bullets and that's it. Oh, my dual sense is dying. <laughs> that's nice. Okay. Forgot to charge it last night. Should be good for the rest of the video. Um, let's see. Just got leave now. Oh, I didn't check the rest of this place. Holy fuck! Still so much shit. We go through here. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Give me that. Give me those. Give me that. Whoa. Another container. Are we full on these? No. Am I yep. Gotta make now. Oh. One of these. I mean, might as well, right? Wait, hold on. Machete. Now this. Okay, give me that. City's still filled with supplies. Yeah, I know. Holy fuck. This is exactly what I needed, though, because I I did not have any fucking ammo. Literally all last episode. Well, that's not true. During the last, like, 30 minutes of the last episode. Give me that, sir. This as well. So much fucking shit, dog. Hell yeah. And I can upgrade. Nice. Let me reload this quick. All right. Can we put a fucking God fucking damn it? I think. We... Oh shit! Get the fuck off me! Oh my god! Wait, it's not the guy. It's. She's out! Take her! How are you alive? I don't want you to go back, you fucking idiots! Motherfucker! Run. Well, people definitely heard that shit. I remember that Jesus. shit happening. What the fuck, people? 
I thought it was gonna happen later though. <laughs> I guess it happened way earlier than I remember. Okay, reload this. And fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Well fuck, now I just wasted ammo. I was trying to upgrade my weapons. Assholes. Okay. Oh wait, shit, there's more upgrades for this. Wait, is there? No, I think I upgraded all the way, right? Yeah, I did. Man. I can make the bow way better. Let's just upgrade all the pistols, because that's where we get the most ammo. Give me that reload speed, baby. What'd you even do? <laughs> just put fresh bullets in there? Oh, there you go. I upgraded the damn thing. <laughs> you kill? Um, fuck. I probably should have upgraded that, honestly. All right. I can't do anything, so. Until I get real more bolts, I guess. Pass some ammo for this bitch. Nice. Okay. You know what? And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one. I apologize. Um, but usually my episodes are around an hour before. And that's where we're at right now. About 56 minutes in. So. I'm going uh, you know, to fucking loot a little bit more. We're going to read this. Loot just a little bit more. And then we're leaving. Hey, Melissa. I'm leaving this here in case you decide to join us after all. We're moving on from the safe house at the first light. I stalled the others as long as I could, but Isaac has been looking for us by now. The fate of the last group of deserters is still fresh in our minds. The plan is still to head south and see if those rumors are true. Maybe it's all, all bullshit, but I'll take hopeful bl bullshit over... Isaac. Isaac's fantas... Is that fantasism? Any day of the week. I remember who we are. The wolf took us in. But they're not our people. I really do wish you left that stadium with us. Hope you still do. Jesus. Ugh. I thought I was a wolf. <laughs> That's what fucking grosses you out, Ellie. Not the fact that they wanted to, like, fucking shoot you on sight. That's what makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> I do think it's stupid they didn't fucking talk to us, man. Like, just look at... There's no way Ellie's a wolf. She's not even wearing any of this shit. They're probably just on edge. Okay. Reload that. I want to be ready for the next encounter after this. Episode's over, so... If we have an encounter, I don't know what's coming up. I mean, I remember some things, but I don't remember everything, you know what I mean? And let's craft another medi. Alright, and on that note... Oh, wait. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh! Sick! Be good. Got another upgrade thing. Explosives. Now that's a sick upgrade branch. Craft explosive. Hell yes. Oh my god. Dude, a blast radius improvement. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm nutting. <laughs> Dude, fuck yes, man. That's sick. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And, that, and okay. Now, I, before, I, I'm getting carried away, okay? Dude, that's so sick. We can swap ammo with fucking... Hell yes. Okay. Now, in the next episode, we are going to continue the adventures of Ellie, Dina, and Jesse. Hopefully, we find Tommy in the next one. And until next time, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching, and peace.